At 8 p.m. Eastern Time on August 12, Trump and Musk chatted for two hours on X during which Trump pulled out a Chinese anchor brand power bank to charge his phone. This power bank is from the Maggo series. It has a single USB-C port that supports 20 watts of input and 27 watts of output. The wireless charging power can be up to 15 watts. The front of the box is printed with Anchor the appearance of the power bank and it is suitable for the iPhone 12 to 15 series. It has passed the Qi 2 certification. The back of the box shows two usage scenarios and some specs info are printed below. Model is A1654. Its battery capacity is 10,000 mAh. The rated capacity is 6,300 mAh. The wireless charging power can be up to 15 watts. The total output is 5 volts 3.6 amp. Open the box. The box contains the Anchor Maggo power bank a cable and some documents. There is a magnetic wireless charging panel and the Qi 2 logo printed on the front. There is an aluminum alo foldable bracket on the back with the Anchor logo printed on it. There is a USB-C port on the side and the specs info are also printed on it. The display can show the remaining power after being turned on and there is a power button below. Below the remaining power is the remaining usage time. After opening the bracket it can be used as a phone holder. There is a spring inside the bracket which is fixed by magnets. Its size is 107 by 69 by 22 millimeters. The weight is about 253 grams. Use it to charge the iPhone 15 Pro Max it will not block the camera. And it can support itself and the phone steadily through the bracket. Charger Lab Power ZKM003C shows that USB-C can support QC 3.0 FCPS CPAFC PD 3.0 DCP and Apple 2.4 amp charging protocols. And it has two fixed PDOs of 5 volts 3 amp and 9 volts 3 amp. Next let's start to take it apart and take a look at the internal components. First pry off the case along the gap. There are graphite thermal pads and aerogel inside the cover. There is a wireless charging coil touch detection pad and PCBA module inside the case. The wireless charging coil is wound with LITS wire and has a thermistor inside to detect the temperature. The touch detection pad is printed with Anchor A1654-B. With the touch detection chip wireless charging will automatically turn on when the power bank is attached to the phone. The NTC thermistor and wireless charging coil are connected to the PCBA module by soldering. The battery is connected to the PCBA module by spot welding. Take out the PCBA module and battery from the case. There is foam on the edge of the battery and a graphite thermal pad inside the case. The LCD is fixed with a metal plate. Remove the metal plate that fixes the LCD and separate the PCBA module from the case. The battery pack uses two lithium batteries connected in series. The 3.85 volts high voltage battery has a size of 60, 60, 80 and a battery capacity of 5,000 mAh. The input limit voltage is 4.4 volts. The energy is 19.25 watt hour and it is designed by Anchor. The upper PCBA module is a wireless charging module which is welded with a wireless charging coil and an NTC thermistor. The bottom PCBA module enhances heat dissipation through the potting compound. 
Filter capacitors and alloy inductors are arranged between the two layers of PCBA modules and the PCBA modules are connected through connectors. Separate two layers of the PCBA module. The inside is filled with potting compound to enhance heat dissipation. The front of the bottom PCBA module is welded with micro switch button screen connector MCU synchronous buck boost MOSFET solid capacitor and other components. On the back there are TVS diodes for interface electrostatic protection battery balancing chips touch detection chips and memory. The buck boost chip is from South Chip and adopts QFN32 package. It is used for buck boost voltage conversion charging the battery and the output of the USB-C port. It supports multiple protection functions. The synchronous buck boost MOSFET is marked with S3818. Two of them form a full bridge. The alloy inductor adopts 10 by 10 millimeter package. 4.7 microfarad. The filter capacitor is from Polycap VN series. Heat resistant 105 degrees Celsius 100 microfarad 16 volts. The protocol chip is from Southchip and adopts QFN-32 package. It is a highly integrated USB PD controller. It has a 30 volts rated voltage and multiple protection functions. The V-Bus MOSFET used to control the USB-C port output is marked with 2002. The other two V-Bus MOSFETs are marked with 4955. The MCU used to drive the display is from SME and adopts QFN-32 package. It is an ARM Cortex-M0 core with a main frequency of 52 MHz. The memory marked with Q4EE is from Giga Device and adopts USON8 package. 1 MB. The touch detection chip marked with 31BP is from Hynatron. It adopts DFN 2x2-6 package. It can be configured into multiple modes through pins. The battery protection chip is from ICM. It adopts SOT23-6 package. It has a built-in high-precision voltage detection circuit and current detection circuit. The battery protection MOSFET is marked with 2002. The two battery balancing chips are from ICM. They adopt SOT23-6 package. It integrates a high-precision voltage detection circuit and delay circuit and realizes battery pack balancing by detecting the battery voltage. The wireless charging master control chip and secured encryption chip are installed on the front of the upper PCBA module. On the back are alloy inductors boost MOSFET's filter capacitors and wireless charging power MOSFET. The wireless charging master control chip is from CPS. It integrates a 32-bit processor and supports multiple charging protocols. It supports multiple protection functions. This is a passive clock crystal. 40 MHz. The secured encryption chip is from Fudan. It supports multiple security algorithms and has multiple protection capabilities. It can be used in contact ESAM PSAM modules, SE security modules, and other application fields. The boost MOSFET is marked with S3818. Same as synchronous buck boost MOSFET. This is an alloy inductor, 4.7 microfarad. The wireless charging power MOSFET is from Vergiga and adopts DFN 3x3 package. The dual NMOS is connected via a half bridge with a withstand voltage of 30 volts and a conduction resistance of 8.2 milliohm and 6 milliohm respectively. Another MOSFET is the same model, two of them form an H bridge for wireless charging coil driving. The MOSFET used to switch the resonant capacitor is marked with S1008. Another MOSFET that switches the resonant capacitor is also marked with S1008. The analog switch IC is from Texas Instruments and adopts SC70 package. The quad op amp is from 3Peak and adopts TSSOP14 package. It has a 100 mA high output current capability and supports rail to rail input and output. Another quad op amp is also from 3Peak and adopts TSSOP14 package. It has an output current of 70 mA. The analog switch IC between the two op amps is from Texas Instruments. Well, those are all components of the Anchor MagGo magnetic power bank.
The Anchor Maggo power bank has a flat design and a magnetic bracket on the back. There is a USB-C port on the side which supports input of 20 watts and output of 27 watts. It supports G2 protocol, and the wireless charging power can reach 15 watts. After taking it apart we found it had two built-in lithium-ion polymer batteries. The wireless charging coil and the battery are isolated by an aluminum plate, and the battery edge is protected by foam. The overall workmanship of the power bank is fine and the materials used are solid. Okay, that's all for today's video. Please drop a like, leave your comments, and subscribe to us. See you next time. Bye.